El sueño de mi hijo era hacer una casita y vivir allá. Y que al frente dijo que iba a hacer un negocio y que necesito nuestra casita. Un negocio, sabía decir de comida, me dejaste en una tiendita, algo. Solo sí. Dios puede hacer los milagros ya sí. en las vidas uh -huh. y solo Dios puede confortar a ustedes en estos momentos ya. Ningún límite de dinero que yo puedo traer a ustedes que va a llenar lo que está faltando en sus corazones, ¿no? La persona que, que mató a su esposo, él está pagando el funerario. Huyendo se fue. ¿Se fue? Sí. Right here is where the accident was. Aquí es lo que tú quieras, pero mira, quiero comprar ropa para hasta que yo tenga como dos años. We are getting them a wall full of diapers. She's not gonna have to worry about diapers until her kid learns not to poop himself. And now we're gonna go get food, but not just for her. We're gonna get food for her entire family while we're building them a brand new house. Tienen dos mil dólares de comida para comprar. All right, guys, so right now we are at the warehouse. A bunch of hardware and we're gonna try to get all the materials or a big portion of them so that we can start to build and it's ¿Qué te gustaría más en su casa? ¿Esto aquí o la naranja ahí? Yo siempre digo la mejor, mejor, mejor. Eso parece súper barato. We want this literally to last for generations to come. We, we have the money raised for it. We don't need to be cutting corners and just building crap houses. Literally met the girl yesterday, filmed it in the morning, uploaded it at night, and it's been, what, 12 hours later since you guys sent the money? And we're already buying the material, like, no excuses. This right here is the basic materials just to get the house going, the roof, the walls. Now, once we get there, we need to measure and make, like, and figure out the size of our store and exactly what we're gonna put in there. Buenas noticias. Todo eso es para ti. Para terminar lo que su esposo quería para su familia. Qué felicidad. Ah! <laughs> this is where DZ is going to come in right now. So DZ is the interior designer, he's the architect, so now we're going to come up with a badass design. This is the most important part guys, not just giving him a home, but building him sustainable income so she can take care of that little kid right there. She got another baby too. So when we get to Shandia today, I'm gonna talk to Karina and ask her what sort of stuff she likes her house or how she likes her house to look. It's super important for us to know what they like and to get them the best stuff. Also, we want this stuff to last. We want her to be able to pass it down to her children, her children to pass it down to their children. Y en la tienda creo que sería mejor si no tenemos una pared a la frente como una garaje, ¿no? Y estoy pensando también usamos este este aquí y hacemos un patio y de hecho puede extenderse para para sombra. So this is Karina's house. It is incredible. This here is going to be the living room when you enter. This here back here is going to be the kitchen. It's going to be a back door to her backyard. The bathroom is going to be connected over on this side. There's going to be a wall right here because on this side of things is going to be Karina's store. Now the three bedrooms. This is the master bedroom for Karina. We wanted to make sure that she has plenty of ventilation. So great big windows in the front of the house. This is going to be the second bedroom. And this here is probably going to be the nursery. Right now we are stocking for Karina's store that's going to be inside of her house. She's going to be able to provide income for her and her family. This is super important for them and stabilizing them for the future. Where do you think is like the best place to get like food in bulk? Probably in Tia. We're off to Tia. Okay, maybe she follow us around and just like create a list of the stuff that we're going to need boxes up. Ten of this one, ten of this one, ten of this one. Yeah. Hurry up, get this stuff loaded up, go over, get her furniture, and get everything to her in Shandia before she gets to the house and realizes what we're doing. <laughs> Hennessy's has all of my information. <laughs> I asked them if they needed my information for the receipt, and Hennessy says I already gave it all to them. <laughs> Hola, bonjour, the house. Hola. 
most popular ice cream? This is yogurt. Yeah, strawberry yogurt. I don't know that everything we're getting, we want one box of it all. And then where are you, and those pulp things that you were talking about, those have to be frozen, yeah? De aquí al parque, uh -huh. frente al parque tiene un señor que dice que dice pulpas de fruta. Buenas. You got to do this. Buenas. What happened? <laughs> they left their sign though, so if anybody wants a, a vende polpa de fruta, I don't know if you guys have noticed this is a perfect segue to, for me to boast a little bit, but my Spanish is getting much better. Oh, you're a tough guy, don't, have, don't throw those No, nothing really scares me around. <laughs> This one? That one and then maybe this one for the little boy. El plan es ahorita ir en una camioneta porque tenemos bastantes cosas que ya compramos y tenemos que recoger. Entonces vamos a recoger de las diferentes lugares. Ajá. Y de ahí sí podemos poner esas cosas en el camión. Claro, claro, sí. Sí, sí, el camión es grandecito. Ese es un NFT. Gracias. Gracias. Les agradezco a Mosh Life por comprar en nuestros negocios locales. Esto es una... Un, son, somos emprendimientos y somos personas que siempre servimos a la sociedad. Esperamos que siga, que siga viniendo. Eh, les agradezco Mucho de mi parte. Muchas gracias. Igual a Mosh Life. Hmm. See how I hold this pen? I can hold it like this, like a caveman. <laughs> I can hold it like this. A sophisticated debutante. You've been practicing that, haven't you? <laughs> so this lady here, sweet, sweet, sweet lady. Uh, she's a mother of four. She works around just doing handiwork or like cleaning and stuff like that. So we bring her here and we give her opportunity to earn some money. We have a lot of extra clothes, so we're gonna let her get a bunch of clothes for her children. Super grateful. We also gave her a bed that we had. This is gonna be super impactful for her and her family. She'll love this stuff and it was possible because of you guys. So we thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Les quiero muchísimo, muchísimo. No saben cuánto ayudan esas personas. Esos son los verdaderos ángeles, guerreros, ¿no? Sí, ayudan a tantas personas, así como a mí, que me dedico a rescatar basura. Me ayudaron tanto, no saben lo que significó la ayuda. Cambiaron la vida de mis hijos. Y ellos llegaron mis pensiones, les dieron las notas y se acabó la preocupación. Y los niños siguen adelante y están muy bien estudiando. Gracias, mil gracias a todos. Sigan donando, por favor, y cambien vidas. Todos ustedes son buenas, buenas personas. Gracias, les quiero mucho. Alright guys, we got the truck fully loaded. We've got medicine, we've got food, we've got clothes. We've got all kinds of stuff in here to stock Karina's store. This is gonna change this woman's life and change the trajectory of her entire family for generations to come. It would not be possible without you guys, so we wanna say thank you, thank you, thank you from the bottom of our hearts. How do they do the heart? Like this. <laughs> like that. Welcome, this is Karina's store. They have every single thing they're gonna need as far as the basics are concerned. They've got all of their different grains that they eat, eggs, sugar, salt. I was talking to some of the local guys, they're gonna be super excited about this store because they use a lot of money on taxes to get to the, local, the next town. So with having this type of store with this many different supplies, they at least have their basic needs. It's gonna save them tons of money that they can put towards their bills, or food, right? Come check it out the house. Karina loves to have guests, she loves to entertain people, so she has a nice television and a big couch to have all of her friends and family over. Huge kitchen for her to cook in. She loves to cook. This is Karina's bedroom, beautiful armor, a nice bed for her. This next room here is gonna be for her son. Last but not least is gonna be for her daughter. And what little girl doesn't like be able to have her friends over? So we got two beds for her in this bedroom. 
I want to let you guys know this is going to be huge for Karina. Her husband passed away on Christmas Eve. Their dream was to build this house, this exact house. So we stepped in, and since she lost her husband, we all came in and helped build this beautiful home for them to call their homes. This is the manifestation of their dreams coming true. And it was provided by you guys. So we are so very, very thankful, and it would not have been possible without you. These are the same kids that we took out to the elder home for the day. So hopefully Karina didn't see them and they didn't ruin the surprise yet. <laughs> we're gonna drop off a few more things into Karina's store that we couldn't bring last night. Then we're gonna walk down and do the big reveal. We're also gonna get the kids toys and all kind of stuff, but they don't know that yet. Right now on our way to go grab Karina and her mother-in-law. So they have no idea what's going on at the house. It's time for the surprise. Karina. Hola. Karina. Hi. Hi. Are you ready to see your new house? <laughs> As you guys can see, this is super emotional for them already. They've kind of heard the news. We didn't get to really do the surprise that we wanted because it's such a big event in the area. Everyone's super excited to give this to Karina. So I think the surprise is going to come when she sees the beautiful house that we were able to build for her. Estás emocionado por ver la casa? <laughs> we know this is tough, and, but we just want to try to make it as easy as possible for her and her children moving forward. Let's go see your house. Ahora, la casa. Mira por acá, pone la tele. ¿Qué sentían todo ese tiempo que estaban construyendo? Ansias de ver ya la casa, de tener ya aquí viendo con mi bebito, con mis hijos. ¿Es como le esperaban o mejor de lo que le esperaban? Está mejor. Yo sé que es el cielo, él nos está cuidando, nos está protegiendo. Yo agradezco a los que nos donaron, cada uno dio su granito de arena y está aquí puesto en la casa. Tanto que yo he llorado, este sueño era de mi hijo, tener una casita. Nunca esperábamos esto, que es maravilloso aquí para mi nieto, para mi nuera. Pero todo hizo posible con la ayuda que nos brindaron desde lejos. Esto nos va a servir bastante a nosotros. Todo esto es una maravilla para, para mi nuera, para mi nieto. Para usted. None of this would have been possible without you, so we are so thankful. Right now, we are about to have, honestly, this might be the biggest karaoke fight. Okay. <laughs> Eh, primero, pues a nombre de toda la comunidad Shandia, agradecer 
a la Fundación Murf Life por todos los beneficios que nosotros hemos recibido a nombre de la comunidad. Nunca habíamos recibido un apoyo de este tipo acá en la comunidad. No. Gracias Murf Life. Gracias Murf Life. <laughs> <laughs>